Jesus, I crave to know you just to know you will satisfy my soul. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is episode number 87. And today, this will be a final reading of Hosting His Presence. Uh, We will be picking up where we left off at the concluding remarks. And I will also include the About the Author section. And I want to thank you for taking the time. I pray that this has been a blessing. And we will jump right in. Concluding Remarks. As you have made your way through this barrage of information, my desire is that you find one key understanding. The presence of God is an invitation to more. When we turn our hearts to an awareness of the Father, we uniquely align our reality with heaven. We have the courage, boldness, and faith to see God's will on earth as it is already in heaven. When we realize that the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead is living in you and me, nothing can stop the spread of God's kingdom on earth. My hope is that we live with such an awareness of His presence in and upon our lives, that we steward that presence until the kingdoms on earth become the kingdoms of our God and of His Christ. We impart that presence through the overflow of the Spirit of God that flows out from us as a mighty river until the knowledge of the glory of God covers the earth as the waters cover the sea. I have found myself asking the question, but what can I do with this reality? I become aware of the presence of God. Treat it with the utmost respect and admiration and live a life of obedience to the Holy Spirit. I walk in that obedience to find purpose, passion, and effectiveness for the kingdom of God. God is not looking for people to inherit cookie-cutter recipes of how to live and operate. He wants you to obey as you hear Him. How Holy Spirit calls you to operate will be different from how He beckons me to operate. We embrace each other's mission to empower the family of believers to radiate the glory of our risen Savior to a world in desperate need. We should seek the Lord for understanding in a world full of questions. As we seek Him, we will find the fullness of heaven in Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit whom He has sent. Get into relationship with Father God, the Son Jesus, and Holy Spirit, our great teacher. As we grow in intimacy, devotion, and proximity, we become quickened to declare the great news of God's kingdom. We are more than just saved from hell. We are saved to see the kingdom of this world become the kingdom of our God and of his Christ. We look with longing toward the blessed hope of spending life everlasting with our creator, our savior, and friend. If you have never taken this step, stop now and tell Jesus, that you surrender your own desires and you want to come into relationship with Him. Tell Him you lay your life down to Him so you may fully live. Ask that the guilt of your sin be covered by the blood of the risen Savior Jesus. If you have prayed this, be confident that Jesus has made His home inside you this very moment. This decision is not the destination. It is an entrance into relationship and knowing. Commit to knowing Him more and obeying His voice. May God bless you and thank you for taking this journey with me. 
about the author. I am writing this section to give a little insight into my own personal story and testimony of the goodness of God. I was born into a family that struggled to take care of themselves, struggled with drugs and alcohol, and in no way was able to care for my sister and me. When I was two and my sister was nine months old, we came to live with my great aunt and uncle. They had already raised children and were going to look after us until our parents got on their feet. After some time passed, this became a permanent situation. This was God's grace, and without this change of environment, I would have likely ended up with a very different story. I was raised in a Christian home and was saved at a young age. I lived your typical childhood Christian experience, which involved church on Sunday mornings, Sunday nights, and Wednesday nights. I was involved in many different child and youth groups that provided me great exposure to Scripture. As a teenager, I was filled with the Holy Spirit during a youth retreat. I will never forget that experience, but I've struggled as long as I can remember with being hot and cold for the Lord. As many people can relate, I had a bad experience at church that left me bitter and burned. I turned away from organized religion, and for nearly 12 years, I lived as I desired, wanting nothing to do with God. There were periods of time when God would speak to me through writing, and I would have conversations with Him from time to time. There were times when my heart was shifting, but it never lasted. One day, as my wife and children visited some friends from our previous hometown, I attended church alone without my family. Something happened to me that day that I could not explain nor replicate. I couldn't tell you the message preached or the song sung, but that day I experienced a radical change in my heart, which has only grown in substance and experience. I have an experience with God my Father, Jesus my Savior, and Holy Spirit my friend that I had never known previously. I came to see a realness to Christianity that before was only a list of do's and don'ts. A desire to know Him more grew into a passionate love affair. I could never imagine going back to what I had been for nearly all my life. I desire to live each day for Him, to know Him more, to walk in obedience to Holy Spirit, and to be used to display the mighty arm of the Father. Once you realize the old you is dead and gone, and all that remains is a son or daughter of the king, there's no going back. He speaks to me in ways I've never imagined. His presence enshrouds me as I experience him, commuting, working, and worshiping. I've made it my mission to steward this fire and never let it falter. There are days when I can feel the fire start to fade, but he has always been faithful to add fuel to the fire upon my petition. He has graced me with a fire that is all-consuming, and my desire is to spread that fire all around me. I pray that I can impart a fire in the hearts of everyone I meet so that the fiery presence of the Lord engages them with a personal encounter, enabling them to experience His presence and steward lasting change. God has blessed me with four wonderful children, Allie, 11, Audrey, 9, Ava, 5, and Asher, 3. He has also blessed me with a wonderful wife, Kristen, who endured horrific troubles for me during the years I ran from the Father. She has been faithful to God and undeservingly faithful to me. The life we have now could never exist outside of the grace and mercy of a relentless Father who pursues us and desires us to be His own. I owe Him everything, and I intend to give it to Him. I want to thank God for rescuing me from myself. I want to thank Him for introducing 
wonderful sowers of his word into my heart, receptivity to hear his voice, and for those who have helped me along the way to make this book a reality. I want to thank my amazing wife and children for encouragement and tolerance. May God bless and prosper you in all you do for God's kingdom. And this completes the reading of Hosting His Presence. I hope that this book has inspired you. I uh, hope that it has encouraged you, opened maybe uh, aspects of his word to you that maybe you didn't see before. Um, but I pray that it was a blessing. I thank you for taking the time through these episodes. Um, moving forward, we will continue with our regular um, episodes as the Lord leads me. And I just want to thank God for all that he has done through this and the reach that this podcast has had throughout um, the ever-increasing um, expanse of countries that are tuning in. I, I thank you all, and uh, I, I also want to encourage everyone um, I, on my uh, show description notes. There is the Bible Study Podcasts at gmail.com um, if there are any particular things you would like for me to to teach on or to speak about to elaborate on uh, as I am able I would love to do so if you would just email me your requests or your questions and um, if you want to get a copy of this book um, maybe distribute it to those that uh, you know uh, you can find it on Amazon as you could find my other three books, and the links to those are in the show notes, and um, as well as the Facebook page and the discussion group. Uh, I would love to connect with um, all of you from across the world and uh, just hear what God is doing in your life. And so I want to thank you, and we will see you on the next one. God bless. I would trade a million lifetimes for a moment here with you.